What is going up Coyote Clan? It's your boy back with another video and today we're going to talk about the Nolly Backside Heel Flip. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button because we make videos about skateboarding, dudes. Dude, these videos are sick. Okay, so before you learn how to do Nolly Back Heel, make sure you have a really clean Nolly Heel Flip and a really good Nolly Back 180. I think this trick especially, more than a lot of other tricks, it's really, really important to have a really, really good Nolly Heel Flip. If you have a super good Nolly Heel Flip, this trick's going to be pretty easy for you. So now let's get into the flip placement. But I thought it was video review time, dude. Dude, we're gonna review the clip and show you where to put your feet at the same time. Sick. All right, so with the nollie back heel, you pretty much wanna set up your feet just like a nollie heel flip. The only difference is I like to put my back foot a little bit farther back on the board, and this is gonna help you get a little bit more of a quick flick and it's gonna help you flick the board in the direction that you're spinning. All right, so the biggest thing with nollie back heel is I like to think nollie heel flip and then backside 180. One of the biggest problems I see is people just try to throw into it too hard and they try to like actually nollie back heel. I know it sounds crazy, but if you just have your shoulders wound up and ready for that spin and throw your shoulders, the lower part of your body just needs to think nollie heel flip. The lower part of your body doesn't want to think backside 180 and what's going to happen is your lower body is going to follow your upper body. Now there's one little trick that you can do with your back foot that helps. So once again, think nollie heel flip first, focus on getting a nice clean pop and right when you pop your flick foot, the heel flip, instead of just going straight back, you can kind of flick it in the direction that you're spinning and that'll help it get a quicker flick and help you make the rotation. But you wanna do it very subtly. If you flick too much in the backside 180 direction, the board can wrap around your foot and you can like hit your shin and it's all bad. So wind up those shoulders and get a good spin, like really throw your shoulders in the direction, but make sure your front foot just pops straight down. Your front foot, you don't need to throw it forward or throw it in the direction of the spin. Just pop it straight down like you would a nollie heel flip. And then the back foot, you can flick it at a very slight angle towards the backside 180. So just focus on getting a nice clean nollie heel flip, okay? That is the most important thing because if you have all that momentum wound up in your shoulders and you're popping off your nose, the back 180 just floats around. And if you don't get that clean pop, it's gonna be like a weird nollie back heel that you might catch weird. Get that clean nollie heel and you're gonna catch it sideways and that momentum of your shoulders is just gonna push your lower body around and you're gonna land it. So like I said, super important to have a really good nollie heel flip. The one difference, that back foot, you can put it a little bit farther back on the board and after you get a clean pop, you can throw the heel flip in that back 180 direction and you should be landing the nollie back heel in no time, dudes. So if you have any other trick requests, comment them below and I'll see you dudes next time.